My name is Kain from the Tech Pro, and we are going to continue with tutorial 5 on our Hibernate tutorial for Java programmers. Today we are going to configure, we've configured H2 database in Path 4, and in Path 5 we are going to do database initialization. So remember that when we run this application and we are able to access H2 console, now if we do select start from location, we can see that it's empty, there is no initial data. Um, for us to test applica our application during development process, we need some initial data to work with in our application. So let's do uh, let's add some initial data into this database so that as soon as this database is created, then uh, we have some initial data populated so that we can use it to test the application. The first step is to create a file inside the SRC main folder and call this file data.sql. So let's go to SRC main, SRC main resources folder, right click there, and we are going to create a new file we are going to call uh, data.sql. So select new and select new file. Simply call it data.sql. So you cannot change the name. The name is a standard name. Uh, you need to use for you to initialize your database. I'm going to just go finish. All right, so we I'm going to try to open this database, uh, this file at this time, so that we'll be able to write some insert uh, statements into this file. So simple, simple insert statements we are going to be writing into uh, in this file. I'm going to. Oh, okay, so it's trying to open in another application. Well, I'm going to say open with test editor. Let's close this. So we have this data the textual file open now. Nothing is inside. I'm going to actually copy this insert statement I've written. So these are just normal insert statements. You can write it yourself if you have some idea of SQL uh, query. Now if I expand this, let me just expand it for clarity. So we're inserting into location, ID, name, values. Now we have, okay, so it's just insert statement, insert into column ID, column names, ID and name, these values, and the same thing goes for the other entities as well. All right, so just save everything. We are going to run this application and we are going to test this uh, application again to see if this data actually inserted into the database. So again, I'd like you to see that when we are talking about time, we see current timestamp, uh, you use it to insert the current time because you, sometimes you have problems with time format. So if I put so uh, sometimes either the time in the wrong format, it doesn't actually insert. So let's run this application and let's see um, if data is inserted. So I'm going to run. Again, if you've not subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button and let's talk. Just let me know your recommendations or something you want me to do better. Or just anything you want to tell me, leave it in the comment box below and I'm going to reply to you to, to try to discuss with you. So now he, okay, so he's starting up as you can see. So Tomcat started that for 8080, as you can see. Let's get back to the H2 console at this point. So just refresh it, refresh, and connect it. Okay, so let's try location, location run. Now you can see some locations has been inserted. Let's try posts. Actually, should clear this first and go to posts, run. You can see some posts has been inserted as well. And let's finally try user. Sorry, user run. Some users has been inserted as well. Let's note that we have location ID corresponding to existing locations. Now let's get back here. So I want I would like you to try to adjust things a lot, try to change up the the values here and see if you can write a correct SQL query to initialize your database. And at this point, I'm going to recommend we move to the next part, which is add one to many, we've talked about many to one. 
And in part six, we are going to be moving to part one to mania. I'd like to thank you for viewing. If you come up to this point, thumbs up to you. You are doing great. Don't give up. If you have challenges, try to ask for help and you continue moving. That is how to become a good programmer. So we see in part six.